A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In the days of King Herod of Judea, there lived a priest called Zechariah, who belonged to the Ebijah section of the priesthood, and he had a wife, Elizabeth, by name, who was a descendant of Aaron. Both were worthy in the sight of God, and scrupulously observed all the commandments and observances of the Lord. But they were childless. Elizabeth was barren, and uh, they were both getting on in years. Now it was the turn of Zechariah's section to serve, and he was exercising his priestly office before God when it fell to him by lot, as the ritual custom was, to enter the Lord's sanctuary and burn incense there. And at the hour of incense, the whole congregation was outside praying. Then there appeared to him the angel of the Lord standing on the right of the altar of incense. The sight disturbed Zechariah, and he was overcome with fear. But the angel said to him, Zechariah, do not be afraid. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth is to bear you a son, and you must name him John. He will be your joy and delight, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He must drink no wine, no strong drink. Even from his mother's womb, he will be filled with the Holy Spirit. And he will bring back many of the sons of Israel to the Lord their God. With the spirit of the power of Elijah, he will go before him to turn the hearts of fathers towards their children and the disobedient back to the wisdom that the virtuous have preparing for the Lord a people fit for him. Zechariah said to the angel, How can I be sure of this? I am an old man, and my wife is getting on in years. The angel replied, I am Gabriel, who stands in God's presence, and I have been sent to speak to you and bring you this good news. Listen, since you have not believed my words, which will come true at their appointed time, you will be silenced and have no power of speech until this has happened. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and were surprised that he stayed in the sanctuary so long. When he came out and could not speak to them, they realized that he had received a vision in the sanctuary, but he could only make signs to them and remain dumb. When his time of service came to an end, he returned home. Some time later, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and for five months she kept to herself. The Lord has done this for me, she said, now that it has pleased him to take away the humiliation I suffered among men. Brothers and sisters, uh, Zechariah did not have faith as strong as uh, the faith of Joseph, the faith of Mary, it wasn't enough for him to believe the words of the angel. He wanted a sign, and God granted him that sign. It wasn't a punishment. It was a sign that later actually helped him realize the great things happening until the moment when he said, no, John will be his name. And we often in our lives also ask God, to prove himself and he sends us signs signs that at times we see as punishments from life that things that happen bad but maybe it'd be good to stop and ask ourselves god what do you want to teach me in this or that situation because very often these signs that god sends to us are to help us heal heal from pride as deep as it often is hidden it's kind of like medicine, which has to be bitter at times, but it works and it heals us. Have a blessed Saturday and God bless.